Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, KB. So today I'm going to show you how to do the perfect green screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. And this is, yes, the best green screen tutorial for DaVinci Resolve because I have seen other tutorials on internet about green screen in DaVinci Resolve, but none of them were actually complete. So all of the videos were incomplete. So this is a complete tutorial on green screen in DaVinci Resolve okay so if you use DaVinci Resolve I hope that this will be really useful if you use green screen effects okay so now I'm gonna drag my footages in timeline okay give me a second <laughs> or maybe a minute I'm already wasting your time which is not a good thing but uh, don't worry if you want to use the green screen in DaVinci Resolve this is a best tutorial i believe i yes i believe myself <laughs> so we are not going to use any effects we are going to use the color grading system to do the green screen in davinci resolve okay so go to the color tab once you have imported your files and all that kind of stuff so now uh first you need to select the qualifier okay which is a color picker okay and once you are here, switch it from HSL to 3D. Okay, so right now it's default HSL. Now switch to 3D. Now this is what we have. And if you use DaVinci Resolve, I'm sure that you know the basics. Okay, you can also add new nodes and work on the new node. And, uh, you know, but I actually what I do is first i green screen and then i apply the other effects like color grading you know if you want to so i'm gonna do the same thing here so i'm not gonna add new node i'm just gonna start from the first node uh, which is yeah default node so once we have selected the qualifier go and drag like this just make lines okay easy just like that make few of them you don't need to okay just select few of them and after that it is already making a effect to see actually uh, how the green screen is working we need to add the alpha output thingy here so right click on the node area and after that click on add alpha output which will add the blue dot here connect that blue dot with the first node the node you are working on okay just like that and as you can see this is the green screen effect but it's inverted so we need to revert it or invert it okay to invert go to selection range under there is a invert option just click on that and boom you have the green screen so you can go full screen and preview how it looking okay you can also do more adjustment but you can see how great it worked if you use green screen for webcam or something like that just like me small you don't need to refine it but if you want you can okay doesn't matter how poor your green screen quality is davinci resolve makes it look better i don't know how but davinci resolve is great for green screen i don't know why <laughs> it's just great because you saw I don't have the perfect green screen some of my you can see here here we have dark area we have a light area here so I don't know but DaVinci Resolve is great for green screen so if you are happy you can just leave here and done it's that easy but you can also refine here you can clean blacks clean whites okay I'm, I always clean blacks just two percent okay and the most important thing the other people won't teach you is the key so we have an option here one two three four fourth option which says key select that okay here actually we can see how well the green screen is affecting you can see by yourself so you can see um, some black spots in my chest here these are like overdone 
okay it's actually cleaning the stuffs and some of the parts white parts here you can see these are the green screen left green screen so we can actually clean this using this what was that key option so here you can play around with the key output key uh, input okay you can also play around with the qualifier so let's play with the qualifier i'm gonna boost all the way up to two okay now you can see our uh, spots in our chest is gone you can see by yourself but we have gained the white spots outside which is the green screen left green screen to fix that now i'm gonna increase the offset okay just like oh no decrease the offset actually so i'm gonna decrease it until i don't see any white spots outside okay we don't want to do it too much that we will see the holes in our body again i mean spots in the body again okay so just like the this is the example you can see we, we saw the spots we're gonna increase it a little bit so we don't see the outer spots plus we don't see inner spots so adjust it the way it looks clean all right you can see this is perfect green screen you can see there is no spots inside there is no spots outside which means this is the perfect green screen you can also go full screen and you can see here you won't find any single spot you didn't find before you know even in qualifier only without touching this you won't be able to see it through your eyes but here in key section you can you were able to see as you can see i'm going to revert back you can see holes here spots here so yeah play with these settings you can also key input and output you can also play with this but I find qualifier works better okay so you can see here just a little bit of adjustment and uh, yeah everything is gone now once you have done that this is the perfect green screen okay you can adjust more settings if your green screen is way worse than me but as I said doesn't matter what kind of green screen you have bad or good it will work davinci resolve can just remove that this is just great okay and after that now let me show you one thing which is for webcam users actually so once you have done your green screen and everything uh you know you go to the edits okay now i try to resize it you can see it is resizing the entire clip the clip underneath is also resizing to fix that what we have to do is go to go back to the color tab and after that click on this what is the name of this window click on this window option and after that select square okay and after that here we have the options for the square transform so softness just decrease it if you want to have the softness you can have it but uh, I'm, I'm just gonna close them all the way down and after that adjust your you know so you won't see the black bars okay so it's like you know making a boundaries in your webcam so just just like that okay once you're happy with that selection go to back to edit and now if i select this clip you can see i can resize it without interfering with other clip and just like that put it there and now i can full screen and believe it or not but this is the perfect green screen effect in davinci resolve and that's the end of the tutorial and hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment and subscribe and if you want me to make more tutorials <laughs> actually i cannot uh, because i'm still learning this but uh, this is the only thing i have perfected myself because i use the green screen every single day in davinci resolve so 
yeah, I'm still learning about the DaVinci Resolve. And if I find something like this in future, I will make more tutorials about DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. And if you don't use DaVinci Resolve and you want to try, actually DaVinci Resolve is free. There is a free version with no watermark or anything like that. You can also try that. I will put link in the description. You can go there, download the DaVinci Resolve and have fun. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun twice. Bye-bye.